Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of calculating interest. This is standard 8.12D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an investor and we're going to be putting in $2,500 into a life insurance policy that pays 8.5% simple annual interest. No additional investment. So what is the accumulated interest after 10 years? All right. So all that information is going to be very helpful. So first we're going to go to our mathematics chart. We're going to look for the formula that says simple interest. There are two different types of interest rates that we learn about in eighth grade, simple interest and compound interest. So let's make sure we grab the correct formula. So simple interest looks pretty well, simple PRT. That's going to be our formula, but we need to know what each of those letters stand for. All right. So P is for principal. And so our principal is going to be the amount of money that is drawing interest. So in this case, we have started with $2,500 and we're not making any additional investments. So if you add extra money, your principal changes every time you add the money. That's the amount of money drawing interest. But we're just going to stay with that $2,500. This R right here is going to be the interest rate. Sometimes we just abbreviate it with the word rate. That's where that R comes from. In this case, it's 8.5%. And then this T stands for time. What's the time frame typically going to be years? In this case, it is years. It did say that it was going to be annual interest. So annual is just a fancy way of saying yearly. And it's for 10 years. All right, so our time frame is 10 years. We have $2,500 principal. We have an 8.5% interest rate. So all we need to do is plug it in and look at our answers here. It's all 2125. The question is, is how many zeros and where does that decimal place go? So I can tell you our answer is going to have a 2, 1 and a 2, 5. But let's see if we can plug this in. So I'm going to come down here. Principal, $2,500. And we're going to multiply that by our rate. Now our rate is 8.5, but when we're multiplying, we don't multiply by a percent. We need to turn that percent into a decimal. So 8.5% thankfully already has the decimal in there for us. We're going to move it over once. We're going to move it over twice. So we're going to multiply that by 0 0.085, which is the same as 8.5%. Then we're going to multiply that by the time frame. So that is 10 years. So let's multiply those three things just to make sure we do it correct. Let's just multiply one thing at a time. So we're going to first multiply the 2,500 times 0 0.085. So we're going to get our principal times our interest rate. And watch what we're going to get, 212.5. So if we want to keep it money, we can go ahead and keep it 212.50, right? Which is an answer. It's an answer right there, H. But we haven't multiplied that by the time. So that's where it's confusing. It's, it's an answer, but it's not the correct answer because we haven't multiplied it by 10. Now, we could plug this into our calculator. But most of us know if you multiply by 10, you're moving the decimal over one time. Now we can go ahead and plug that into our calculator just to triple check, but 212.5 times 10, just going to move that decimal over once, it's going to be $2,125. We could put a 0, .00 if we need to. That's how much interest we are going to get. So that's going to be our answer G right there. Uh, if you were to divide by 10, that's what you would get if you were to do J. So just use the wrong operation, you would get that. But our answer here is G.